Bibles this morning, please turn with me to 2 Peter. We're going to be reading 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 through 10. If you're looking in the Pew Bible, which I'm using this morning, that's on page 1018. 1018, 2 Peter, starting from verse 3, going to verse 10. It reads, His divine power has granted us all things that pertain to life and godliness. Through the knowledge of him who has called us to his own glory and excellence, by which he has granted us his precious and very great promises, so that through them you may become partakers of the divine nature, having escaped from the corruption that is in the world because of sinful desire. For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, and virtue with knowledge and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with steadfastness, and steadfastness with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love. For if these qualities are yours and are increasing, they keep you from being ineffective or unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For whoever lacks his qualities is so nearsighted that he is blind, having forgotten that he was cleansed from his former sins. Therefore, brothers, be all the more diligent to confirm your calling and election, for if you practice these qualities, you will never fall. Let's pray this morning. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the promises of your word that we can stand on them boldly. Lord, that they lead us and guide us in this life. Father, that your word promises, Lord, if we follow your word, we will never fall. We don't have to worry about anything. We have all the hope. We have the power of the Holy Spirit living within us to carry out what your word tells us to do. So we thank you, Lord, for this morning that we can come together, that we can worship through song, through hearing your word, through fellowship. And help us to stand on your word, Lord. Help us to know what your word says, to have a desire to be in it. And be conformed to it. We ask all this in Jesus' name this morning. Amen. If you guys would please stand. Uh, let's continue to sing together this morning. This may be a new song uh, for some of you guys. But it's very easy to catch uh, along to. It's called Soon. If you can actually slip, uh, go to the next verse, the next uh, slide here. This is a the scripture from Psalm 96, 11 through 13. says, Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Uh, all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for He comes. For He comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world in His righteousness and the people in His faithfulness. This song is all about Jesus coming soon. We don't know when He's going to be here, but we have hope that He will be here soon, and we can look forward to that day. So let's sing this one.
Yeah. 
there for you, Father, as, as we go into the year 2020. Lord, our prayer is that you would be our vision, that you would guide our path, that you would guide our ways. Lord, that you would have your way in our, our, our lives, every aspect of our lives, Lord, that we would allow you to do whatever work we're doing, that we would surrender to you, Lord. Whether that be attitudes, relationships, our time, our service to you here at the church, Lord, whatever you would have us do, I ask that, Lord, that you would be our vision this, this coming year, that you'd have your way with us. Use your word this morning to convict us, draw us closer to you, make us more like Christ. Thank you for the privilege of being here, for getting us here safely. And we thank you for your word that we could meditate on this morning and hear from. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.